All right. Let's check the doggy out here. Oh, cool. I like that slide. All I would do is, by now, right at the end, like, I don't know what this frame is, 74. Um, start, uh, uh, what is, where's my thing here? You start adding a little paw forward and paw forward. These are awesome doggy legs, meaning that you end up something where he's um, balanced. All right, legs, but then also legs forward. And then look, they're looking at the guy. So you slide and then you stop and then you take step forward, step forward. Be more balanced. It's cool, I like it. I like that actually. That feels a bit that feels a bit limp. Right through there. And watch out, you got a little frame pop here. That leg goes and then kinda whoa and then they stick in in the air here. So by now this doggy needs to be here. I'm not sure if you actually move it forward. So with that push off, it really needs to go further. So you might have to take this piece and just put it here and shorten this piece so that the dog would land here-ish. Other than that, there's a bit of a monkey thing right there. This is a really fast drop. You got the head, boop, right there. Boom, something drops really, really fast. Boop, right there. Cool slide though, I like it. If you have little bubbles. Little lava bubbles. I would probably take these guys, it's just a simple thing, but angle them. So diagonal stuff is a bit more threatening. Just visually. Then you might want to bring. I don't know if you're gonna light this, but like we're starting to lose the spikes of these guys. So either bring the, those clouds over to the right, or uh, you know, with this light, maybe there's some lighting on the left that will illuminate the edges there. Simple thing. There. It's cool though. So you're saying uh, the ending, rough camera. Actually, the camera is fine um, because it frames it correctly. It would just be a one more layer of handheld, which I can totally show you. And I'm missing the uniform, got to model it yet. The uniform, wait, I'm confused about the uniform. I'm not sure about the uniform, but yeah, the guy's there. Uh, just let me know what you want to do with the guy. If he's just, he might just be passed out. And then I would just do, put the head sideways, uh, eyes closed, jaw open, maybe the tongue's out. You know, maybe <laughs> that way you don't have to animate the character. And it's just about the dog coming over there and um, just coming to to the rescue to everything. Yeah, the biggest thing to me, the sudden drop, not enough of a push. And after that slide, one, two steps for adjustment. It's cool though. And this guy. So you're saying, I attached a video of the boards for my ideas, sir, about the ugly drawings. Hopefully you would understand what I'm trying to do. I do need help to maybe make the camera dynamic. Right now, every frame is still. Dialogue says the Empire of Israel has no more than one land. Hmm. Interesting dialogue. Just reading it, this is exposition dialogue. This is not something where the character has any emotions attached to it or it gives us context, some conflict, some change. Uh, this is basically someone explaining something, which is usually not something you want to use. Um, as a like a loose loose rule. I mean, obviously you can make this awesome, but the Empire of Izmir has long been a divided land, ruled by the mages, an elite group of magic users. The lowly commoners, those without magic, are little more than slaves. So wait, that reading a story to his kids. Kids can be brothers inside a tent with a, with a flashlight. That's a cool idea to offset the audio, meaning that I would then concentrate on the kids listening, maybe looking at just like, oh, cool, while he just delivers the line. Because the line is just kind of boring. So this would make it much more interesting. Dragon coming to frame, flying with a powerful magician on top. Ruled by the mages. That's a cool idea. I like this. Again, not, not really focusing on the audio. I love it. Uh, Dragon landing a powerful magician on top. Group of 
magic users. The lowly commoners, those without magic, are little. It's kind of cool. I don't know if this is too crazy. I'm open to any suggestions. Please let me know what you think. For the record, I've never animated a dragon in my life. Um, that's a problem <laughs> because they're really complex. Dragon coming in. Well, I mean, the first one is a flight. So the thing is, if you're doing this, you need something interesting. I like your idea of the guy landing, especially if it's just that landing motion. I think we can work on that. I can, I can teach you all this. Uh, the tricky thing is, besides, you know, I don't know what kind of Dragon Ball you're going to use, but you're going to have the wing action, the legs, potential tail, and the physics of flap, flap, boom, land, and the weight and everything. On top of that, you have a human that has to react to all that weight and overlapping action and everything. That's the really tricky part as well. Cool idea, though, and I think it would really push you and learn. You learn a lot. I think I'm all, I'm all for that. So if you're doing this, it's pretending this is for real. needs to be something interesting. Dragon comes into frame flying with the power of the top. So it's all about the flight dynamics. So it will be, you know, you could have a castle, maybe like another hill here, and then suddenly out of, you know, it could be some tree line or something, and suddenly as a surprise, whoo, 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 dragon is like that. It comes out, whoo, whoo, like a nice silhouette. Maybe there's even like, this, it's a sunset or something, and as the dragon comes up, creates a silhouette, and then comes down, and then it's flap, flap, into a turn flap type of thing. Maybe comes past us. You know, so it's almost like you got something here, it comes and then you know that past thing us, past flying camera thingy. Um, that could be something. Depends on what you want to do. It depends on what you're comfortable with. Um, or it could just be coming out, whoa, coming out this way. It does a little went in towards camera. You know, it, it can be simpler. Um, depends how big you want it to be. Is that actual scale compared to this? I mean, there are all kinds of ideas, you know, or um, or it's something. What's the line here? Be ruled by users. You're not really talking about dragons, so you could do anything you want. So, what if it's. You know, what if it's the castle and then the castle is next to a bit of a rock and there are more buildings here. So it's all kind of built together. And then you have this dragon um, sitting on it, kind of protecting the castle or whatever. And then you have a jump off, flap, flap, past camera. You know, that could be something. So lots of ways to make an intro or, or show off some animation where it's a push off, flap, flap away from us or coming in, flap, flap away from us. Kind of depends what you want to do. Um, but I like the idea, and actually, I like the combination of this for him. I would just have him read this with maybe like a slight smile when, before he starts. There's some emotion attached. Like, I, want to, I want to tell my kids something super cool, and then it's all about the kids going, Oh, it would be cute to have both of them. So you can have like, maybe one is lay, have has, has his arms and he lays his head on the his chin on his arms, and then the other one kind of rustles up next to him. and Holds and gets his head on the other hand. They kind of like rough and tumble little boys. They kind of, but they they love each other and they they kind of together in this. I think that could be something cute, some, some cute action there. And then having just that voiceover to show this, I think it's a really cool idea. So yeah, that's kind of it for that. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.